15 ongoing mega projects in Kenya 2022. Kenya under President Uhuru Kenyatta has heavily invested in infrastructural development, especially when it comes to the transport sector. These investments have seen the country borrow heavily from external partners to make sure that the projects are a success and that Kenyans eventually get to enjoy the fruits of the tax they pay. Despite having the feeling that they are being heavily taxed to service some of these loans, it still remains a reality that Kenyans will eventually enjoy the swiftness that these projects will make available once complete. In this video, we're going to count down the 15 amazing mega projects in Kenya. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Number 15. Nairobi Mombasa Highway Expansion Project Unveiled in September 2016, the Highway Expansion Project, which forms part of Kenya's Vision 2030 Development Program, is maintained by the Kenya National Highways Authority through a public-private partnership. The Nairobi Expressway project involves construction of an additional two lanes alongside the existing highway and rehabilitation of the current lanes. The construction works were initially expected to begin in 2018, but were delayed by several months and pushed to 2019. When fully operational in 2024, the Nairobi-Mombasa Highway will become the country's first high-speed expressway. The project is expected to cost about $3 billion. Number 14. Mombasa Port Expansion The project involves construction of the second phase of the second container terminal at the Mombasa Port. Kenya Ports Authority is preparing to handle more cargo at the Mombasa Port after the completion of a second container terminal that can accommodate at least 450 20-foot containers at a time. Phase 1 was completed in September last year and has a handling capacity of 550,000 TEUs. The second phase of the container will provide an additional capacity of 450,000 TEUs, 20-foot equivalent units. The CT2, which is part of the Mombasa Port Development Program, is designed to accommodate larger vessels. According to KPA, the terminal will give the port a competitive edge over neighboring ports, mainly in Dar es Salaam and Djibouti. According to the Acting Managing Director of the project, John Wangemi, the CT2 will have three berths with quay lengths of 230 meters, 320 meters, and 350 meters. The larger berths will handle Panamax container ships of 20,000 deadweight tonnage and post Panamax vessel of 60,000 deadweight tonnage. Number 13. Kenol Isiolo Road The Kenol Isiolo Highway is a planned dual carriage highway in Kenya. The much-awaited 80km highway road would link Kenol in Makakos County to the towns of Riru and Thika in the Nkiambu County, Kabati and Makuyu in Muranga County, Sagana and Kibirigui in Kirinyaga County, Karatina and Kiganjo in Nyeri County, Nanyuki in Laikipia County, and Isiolo in Isiolo County. The road is an extension of Thika Superhighway that was built by President Mwai Kibaki's regime to open up the northern corridor connecting the coast to northern Kenya and Ethiopia. The project, estimated to cost $488 million, is being financed by the African Development Bank. However, the proposal to convert the busy road to a dual carriageway has driven many to acquire parcels locally, leading to an increase in land prices. An acre of land that previously went for $1,950 can now fetch $39,017. In some areas, the same size of land goes for $68,000. Some businessmen are already buying and selling land to developers engaged in hospitality. Number 12. Tatu City 
Tatu City Project is a 5,000 acre land exploring into the marvel of Africa urbanization. Its spatial nature is promising decongestion in Nairobi, Kenya. The new city will feature homes, schools, offices, a shopping district, medical clinics, nature areas, a sport and entertainment complex, and manufacturing area for more than 250,000 residents and tens of thousands of day visitors. Schools and businesses are already open in Tatu City, and a range of homes suit all incomes. Tatu City is Kenya's first operational special economic zone, providing reduced corporate taxes, zero-rated VAT, and import duty exemptions, among other benefits. Number 11. Northland City the Kenyatta family's ambitious Northland city is taking shape years after the project was commissioned. The city sits on an 11,000-acre plot of land that will house around 250,000 people in residential, industrial, and commercial buildings. The total cost of the project is estimated to be over $4.3 billion. According to Northland City Master Plan, 3,570 acres have been allocated for housing units. 3,134 acres have been earmarked for low-density housing, 306 acres for high-density housing, and 130 acres for medium-density residential housing units. The low-density housing segment will have 601 villas and 1,320 townhouses. The medium density area is reserved for 670 townhouses and 368 housing units in blocks of flats. The master plan further indicates that the high density residential segment will have 6,980 units on blocks of flats and 3,100 townhouses. Another 390 acres have been earmarked for a business district. Some 33 acres have been set aside for a shopping mall or hotel, and 2 acres for a clubhouse. An industrial park will rest on the 695 acres of land, and another 650 of the total acreage has been earmarked for a logistics park. The remainder will be occupied by Brookside Davies. Construction works commenced at Northland City in October 2018 and will see all the plots connected to roads, water, sewer, electricity, and the internet. The Northland City Master Plan will be executed in four phases over a span of 50 years. Number 10. Kipevu Oil Terminal Kipevu Oil Terminal Project is a modern terminal being developed by Kenya Port Authority in Mombasa Coast, Kenya. The project's contractors include China Road and Bridge Corporation and CCCC Fourth Harbor Engineering Co. Limited. The scheme scope includes 12.3 million cubic meters dredging work, the hydraulic wharf, the submarine, and onshore oil pipeline procession and installation. The scheme was designed to greatly alleviate the demand in Kenya's oil transportation and increase the port's oil handling and storage capacity, which is one of great significance in stimulating Kenya's economic development. Upon completion, the new upgraded modern oil will be able to accommodate the capacity of four vessels of up to 200,000 deadweight tonnage, replacing the current 50-year-old terminal that currently sits there. The scheme is being developed at the cost of $385 million. It will have both land and subsea pipelines connecting it to the storage facilities in Kipevo with a capacity to stir five different foil products. The products comprise of heavy foil oil, three white oil products, and crude oil. Number 9. Makamini Dam Project the construction of the Makamini Dam Project becomes the second big project after the Mwache Multipurpose Dam Project, which is meant to harness the flood flows from Mwache River Basin for domestic water supply and irrigation in Kwale and Mombasa counties. 
The water project is being financed by the national government through the Coast Water Works Development Agency at the cost of $11 million. It is aimed at improving water, health, and hygiene in arid and semi-arid parts of the vast county. The first phase of the project is expected to be completed in 18 months. Once fully complete, the dam will be providing portable water to over 40,000 residents from Makimini, Kinagoni, Matumbi, Nta, Mabesheni, Bofu, Kibandaongo, Mienzeni, and Mwandudu sublocations. Number 8. Lapset Corridor Project the Lapset Corridor Program is Eastern Africa's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project, bringing together Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. This mega project consists of seven key infrastructure projects. After completion, it will be the second transport corridor in the country, the other being the Mombasa Uganda Transport Corridor, which passes through Nairobi and parts of the Northern Rift. Some of the basic lapset infrastructure have already been constructed, that is, a harbour office and police station in Lamo and revamping of the Lamo Airport runway. However, this project plan combines different elements, that is, the construction of a new port at Lamo, a Lamo South Sudan oil pipeline, roads and railways linking possibly to the west and southern Ethiopia a new international airport and resort cities along the rail will also be constructed. Any of the elements completion will have a great impact which combination would transform the region. The 200 meter wide Lapset corridor will join Juba with the Kenya's coast of Lamo, 1,700 kilometers away. It is expected that the corridor will form a part of the future equatorial land bridge connecting Western and Eastern Africa through Juba and Bangui in the Central African Republic to Douala, Cameroon. Road links are also planned to Addis Ababa through Moyale in Kenya. The aim of the scheme is to cut Kenya's main port of Mombasa's overdependence and also open up the largely underdeveloped northern frontier through creation of the Lapset Corridor. The project's key towns are Lamu and Isiolo in Kenya, South Sudan's Juba, and Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. The seven main infrastructure scheme components in the Lapset Corridor program require quite a high amount of resources, with a budget estimated at $24.5 billion. It is projected that Lamu Port with the 22 berths alone will have an approximate cost of $3.1 billion. The railway with $7.1 billion and the crude oil pipeline costing a further estimate of $3 billion in the single Lamu to Lokichar trunk line. Number 7. Dongo Kundu Bypass Project Phase 2 Dongo Kundu Bypass Project, also known as the Mombasa Southern Bypass, will connect three main transport corridors including the Mombasa-Nairobi Highway, Mombasa-Malindi Highway, and the Mombasa-Lunga-Lunga Highway. And it is expected to minimize traffic gridlocks in Mombasa and its environs. Phase 1 of the project, which was completed and opened in 2018, runs from Mombasa Port's second container terminal and joins the Mombasa-Nairobi Highway at Bonje near Mazeras. The phase was done by China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation at the cost of $110 million. Kenya acquired financing of the bypass through loan from the Japan International Corporation Agency in 2014 with repayment option of up to 30 years at an interest rate of 1.2%. Phase 2 works on the project involves installation of two bridges, one at Nteza and the other at Mwache, spanning more than 2 kilometers and 680 meters respectively. Comparing to other bridges, this one is bigger than Nyali and Kalifi. Nteza bridge length is seven times longer than that of Nyali and Kalifi. The project is scheduled to be completed in 2024. Number 6. Kanza Technologies City 
A few kilometers from Nairobi, Konza Technology City, also known as Silicon Savannah, is the embodiment of Kenyan ambitions and represents a new construction model for tomorrow's African cities. The project is part of the country's Vision 2030 blueprint and is expected to generate 17,000 direct high-value jobs and a further 68,000 indirect jobs once completed. The project, which is located 64 kilometers south of the capital Nairobi, is modeled around the Silicon Valley, hence the moniker African Silicon Savannah. It targets business process outsourcing, software development, data centers, disaster recovery centers, call centers, light manufacturing industries, and research institutions. The project cost an estimated sum of $14.5 billion. Number 5. Nairobi Condominium Tower Nairobi Condominium Tower is a 44-story residential skyscraper that is currently under construction on a two-acre piece of land at the intersection of Bishop's Road and 4th Ngong Avenue in the Upper Hill neighborhood of Nairobi, the capital and largest city of Kenya. Upon completion, the tower is expected to be one of the tallest residential structures in Africa, with a total of 1,115 square meters of rentable space. It has three apartment plans, which include a one-executive bedroom plan, a two-executive plus bedroom plan, and the penthouse plans of three or four bedrooms from the 40th floor and above. Reportedly, all units will be fully furnished. Other than the residential space, its 8 Nairobi condominium tower will provide approximately 1,486 square meters of garden space, in addition to amenities such as meeting and facility rooms, garden level lounge cafe, and convenience store, children play area, and running track on the podium level. Others are indoor pool, spa and wellness, Turkish bath, 30th floor terrace with a splendid view of the splendid Nairobi skyline, sky club lounge, a supermarket, a restaurant, a gym, a heated indoor swimming pool and a parking space for 435 vehicles. Number 4. Fwaki Multipurpose Dam the Thwaki Multipurpose Dam comprises a multipurpose dam for water supply, hydropower generation, and irrigation development. It will also provide regulation of flows on Athi River downstream of the dam for flood and drought mitigation. The project targets broad improvement in productivity and livelihoods over a 10-year period, ending in 2023. The project is subdivided into four phases. Phase 1 includes consultant services for design and supervision of works, a panel of dam experts, construction of a 77-meter-high rockfield dam, and associated structures as well, catchment rehabilitation slash protection, studies and designs for subsequent phases, and to enhance Phase 1 implementation, climate change training, and technical assistance. Also, in Phase 1, the program will increase water security by providing 681 million cubic meters of water storage, earmarked for Phases 2, 3 and 4 as follows. 3-4 MCM for human consumption, 625 MCM for double usage, 22 MCM for upstream irrigation and an allocation for downstream conservation flow. The target population will benefit from an abundant supply of portable water, which will lead to improved health and spur economic development throughout the area and as well in Konza City. The Thwaki Multipurpose Dam is located immediately downstream from the confluence of Athi and Thwaki Rivers in Mavindini Division and Kanyangi Division, while the flow back will extend into Kathalumbi Division of Mbuni District to the northwest of the dam site. The dam will cover an area of approximately 2,900 hectares, spanning Makweni, Kitwi, and Mbuni District, with a catchment area spanning about 10,276 km square, reaching as far as the Ngong Hills, Kikuyu Escarpments, and the lower reaches of the Abedaris.
The dam is a rock-filled dam characterized by an impervious concrete face, 80.5 meters in height, with a crest at 920.5 meters. The foreseen reservoir storage volume is 688 millimeters cube. Number 3. Nairobi Expressway Project the Nairobi Expressway project is a 27.1 km road project beginning from Lulongo through the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and Nairobi CBD to Westlands area along Waiyaki Way. The over $560 million road project is the first major project in Kenya to be carried out through a public-private partnership. The Nairobi Expressway will have a four-lane and six-lane dual carriageway within the existing median of Mombasa Road, Uhuru Highway, and Wayaka Way, as well as 10 interchanges. The section between the eastern and southern bypasses will be a six-lane dual carriageway, while the section from the eastern bypass and that from the southern bypass to James Gichuru will be a four-lane dual carriageway. The elevated highway will begin near Ole Sereni Hotel and run through the CBD along the Uhuru Highway to the James Gichuru Junction. Haile Selassie Road to Kenyatta Avenue and the University Way will be below the elevated road. Upon completion, the road is expected to significantly reduce the time spent on Mombasa Road at Wash R from approximately 2 hours to between 10 and 15 minutes. The project is scheduled for completion by December 2022. Number 2. Standard Gauge Railway Kenya is building a 969km standard gauge railway from Mombasa to Malaba at a cost of $9.9 .9 billion. This has been built as one of the largest and most ambitious transport infrastructure projects in Africa. Phase 1 of the project spans 472 kilometers from Mombasa to Nairobi and has been completed at a cost of $3.27 billion, while Phase 2A from Nairobi to Naivasha, 120 kilometers, was constructed at a cost of $1.5 billion. The railway line is expected to move to Kisumu at a cost of $3.7 billion. It was conceived as a flagship project under the Kenya Vision 2030 development agenda. Once completed, it will simplify transport operations across the borders and reduce travel costs, in addition to benefiting the economies of Kenya and the neighboring countries. Number 1. Pinnacle Towers Spearheaded by two large Dubai-based investors, Haas Petroleum and White Lotus, the project is located at Upper Hill, a fast-growing financial hub in Nairobi. The project includes the construction of two adjacent towers at the height of 659 feet, with a total of 46 floors. The shorter tower will house the 257-room 5-star Upper Hill Hilton Hotel the third Hilton franchise in the East African country's capital and the 50th on the African continent. The taller tower, on the other hand, at a height of 1,050 feet, with a total of 70 floors, will feature 11 floors of commercial office space, 9 floors of upscale rental retail space, and 46 floors with 210 upscale, 1, 2, and 3 bedroom serviced residential apartments. This tower upon completion will become the tallest tower in Kenya, overtaking the 31 floors Britam Tower that stands at the height of 2,001 meters in Nairobi's Upper Hill region, and the second tallest in the whole of Africa, overtaking the 55 floors Leonardo Tower standing at the height of 234 meters in Santon, Johannesburg, South Africa and slightly behind the 385-meter-high 80 floors iconic tower in the new administrative capital east of Cairo, Egypt. The Pinnacle Towers complex will enjoy amenities such as conference facilities, a gymnasium, luxury spa, an infinity pool, an observatory at 902 feet, and a helipad situated on the rooftop of the taller tower. 
The budgeted construction cost for the Pinnacle Towers complex is $200 million. $50 million was contributed by the developers and the balance borrowed from the African Export Import Bank and some other Kenyan banks. Thanks for watching. This concludes our coverage on the 15 ongoing mega projects in Kenya. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and also share it with your friends.